Hey guys, Mac Tech Genius here with a quick overview of FenSense, which is essentially a license plate frame that contains parking sensors. I find parking sensors to be a great feature, but only if they work right. For instance, on my Tesla, the parking sensors work perfectly and provide the precise distance. However, on Acuras, the parking sensors aren't that great and don't really make a difference. Hence, I didn't even bother getting them on my TLX. I don't expect FenSense to outperform my Tesla, but my expectations are still high. The packaging is very simple and clean. Here's a diagram showcasing the install. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You download the mobile app, which will be the display for your parking sensors. While that is downloading, let's take a look at what else we get in the box. So everything you need is included. You get the FenSense frame, security screws, batteries, phone mount, and a tap button that I'll discuss later. On the mobile app, you create an account, and this essentially locks your fence sense. So if someone were to steal it, which is very unlikely due to the security screws, they won't be able to use it. On the app, you decide where you'll be mounting the frame, either at the front or back. I'll be mounting mine on the back. And then you proceed with the physical install. I'm performing this install on my Acura TLS. As you can see, it's relatively straightforward and took a couple of minutes. There are two sensors on each side of the frame that are used to determine the distance. You want to measure the distance between the bumper and the frame and input that into the mobile app for calibration. You then install the provided batteries and that's about it with the physical installation. The fence sense and the tap button were instantly detected and that's about it with the software install. And now I have parking sensors on my car. The tap button attaches to the steering wheel but you can just put it about anywhere. To park, you can either launch the app or press the top button, which sends an alert. And then you can click on the alert, which will then launch the app. On Android, it's more simpler, so you just hit the button and it launches the app instantly. I already have the phone mount, so I'm using mine instead of the one provided. But as you can see, the mobile app provides visual info showcasing my surroundings alongside with audible alerts. And as I reverse, it essentially shows me when to stop. And after I park, I press the tap button to exit out of parking mode. It had me stop roughly a foot away from the obstacle, which is perfect. I don't want to get too close, but I know some people want the ability to adjust this, so I hope this is something they implement on the next software update. Here's a closer look at the mobile app. It launches and connects to FenseSense instantly. Obviously, this is a must as you don't want to wait for the app to launch while you're parking. So the app has a home screen, which I guess is intended to leave open when you drive. I wish it was customizable. Right now, what you see are basically shortcuts you have to choose from. Hopefully this is something that will resolve in a future update. Under settings, you can customize some preferences. The overall app is relatively simple, which is great. The UI is fast and clean. So who is this product for? For one, if you already don't have parking sensors, I highly recommend this. I plan to get one for the front as well, which is more important in my case since my backup cameras are pretty good, but I don't have any indicator in the front to tell me when to stop. But even with the backup camera, the fence stand still offers a greater peace of mind and the cost is much less compared to factory installed parking sensors. Please let me know if you have any questions and be sure to like and subscribe for subsequent videos. Pricing and additional information is located in the description.